In this uh, video, I'm going to talk about the features for users available in the chat channel in the Dynamics 365 Customer Service Omnichannel application. Now, as you see in the list, uh, for a, uh, say, chat uh, application, for an end user, the end user can uh, see uh, the file attachment. So in case they have any issue uh, raised through the portal, they can uh, upload a supporting document as a form of a file attachments. So those all things are configurable in the backend. Now, as an end user, uh, you can have, you know, like kind of a customer notifications uh, in the form of number of new messages. So uh, if you move away from the screen, uh, then uh, you may see this uh, number of new messages which has been received uh, while you were away from the screen. So it's kind of a label uh, like number one, two, or three. Now three indicates that three new messages are there since you last left the session, last, last left the browser window session. Now uh, there are configuration for sound notification for new messages as well. So that's all specific to the users. A uh, user can download the conversation transcripts uh, once they finish the conversation or they can do uh, while they are having that conversation with the agent as well. Uh, email, email the uh, transcript to the specific email address uh, after the end of the conversation. So these all things user can perform on the chat channel. Uh, there is also a special provision to configure voice and video calls. So in case the resolution is not happening uh, properly or quickly, then the uh, chat mechanism is not working to its extent, then maybe voice and video calls may come to the rescue and then the agent and the customer can have this conversation in the voice and video calls. Now, screen sharing and co-browsing is also in another functionality, which is not available directly out of the box, but then you need to configure a third party provider. There are some instructions provided by Microsoft. So you need to attach that provider and then screen sharing can be done by a customer and co-browsing can be done uh, between the customer and uh, the uh, agent basically uh, uh, to resolve the case. Now let's see this in action where to see all those settings. Okay. Now I'm in the customer service admin center. Now what I'm going to do is first is we'll go to channels. I've already set up a chat channel so uh, navigate to chat manage and then this is the chat which I have created. So let me edit this chat. Now once I edit this chat, if you see over here, this section, the user features, if I click on user features, there are various settings which I just talked about that you can configure. Now one is file attachment. So if you want the file attachment turned on, you need to turn the switch on. Now file attachment can be both ways. Agents can send, customers can send. You can even disable one of the options. So if you don't want agents to send, then you can disable this. Even customer can send file attachments, you know, uh, those all things you can disable. Uh, customer notification, now the, it shows the number of new messages and play sound notification for new messages, okay? This all things I'm going to demonstrate this to you. Now, conversation transcript, yes, if you uh, want to turn the conversation transcript, you can turn on from here. We can allow download of the transcript and allow email of transcript. Now, if you don't want email of transcript, you can turn this off. If yes, then you need to specify the conversation transcript email template, which is by default available. You can pick your own template, what you want, uh, and then you need to select a mailbox, okay? So for me, uh, let me select uh, from, say, my mailbox, the email should go. So I then selected my mailbox. Now, voice and video calls, uh, I can turn this on. Uh, and then uh, calling options, if you see whether you just want voice or video and voice. Screen sharing and co-browsing, I've kept it off. However, if you want to explore this feature, you need to uh, provide a service provider for it. Uh, it is not readily available out of the box. For that, you know, you need to navigate to uh, the docs, uh, learn.microsoft.com and read through this article, like enabling third-party co-browse and screen sharing option. So they have nicely explained the architecture of how the provider channel conversation and conversation actions are uh, linked to each other and uh, how you can configure uh, in the app tab template uh, and uh, how to work with the event handlers. So those sort of things. Okay.
now again coming back to our settings this is how you uh, configure the setting and you just say save and close now uh, this uh, example if you see here i'm just an agent over here right now the agent is available so let me trigger the chat so i'm just triggering the chat so i've already created the chat and embedded that in an html file okay uh, so uh, let this chat trigger let me minimize this a bit now this chat is now ready to go uh, so let me say connect this with the agent and this to an agent and say hello and the agent should receive a call in a moment yes the agent has received that call and just click on accept okay now the agent is uh, has accepted the call and then the conversation communication panel will be visible and the agent can start that chat parallelly with the customer yeah. so here uh, what you can do is you can type in uh, the request you know and then we can start exchanging those information and i'm not going to go into that detail over here uh, what a user can do is uh, you know they can uh, see this chat interface okay now here they can attach a file so so i have attached this template doc and the agent will soon receive this uh, documentation over here and at the same time agent can also uh, select the the file and then send across to the end user so this is how you do that okay so let's have you do a uh, file attachment now uh, from here if an agent wants to you know like uh, start a video conversation then the agent can come here and then they can start a voice and video call and then the voice and video call will be triggered so if i click on voice call watch ha what happens uh, at the agent side the agent uh, the at the customer side the customer will receive this and then i can start this that will be a bit echo hello 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 and I'll just end the call. So this is just for demonstration purpose, I show you we can do a video call and as well as a, a chat as well, you know. Uh, so uh, then the next option is to download the transcript. So if I click here, I can download the transcript. Now, if you see the transcript download, I will open this file and show it to you how it looks. So this is how the transcript looks like. Okay, it's in the form of an HTML file. Uh, and also if you want to email the transcript then you can click on this button over here and then you can type in the uh, email address okay so i'll just type my email address and then and then i will be receiving that same uh, html file you know in my email address so this is how you uh, send those uh, transcript through uh, an email as well now this uh, email sending will only happen when you close this chat so if I close this chat, uh, it says select cancel and then select download or email icon. Now I've already specified the email. I'll just close this and then uh, after some time, I should be receiving those email in my uh, email, just chat in my email. So that's it folks. Uh, this is all about uh, configuring the chat channel features for users within the Dynamics 365 customer service omni channel app. Thanks for watching.